Hey guys, welcome to Empath Gaming. So we are back with Rachi and Asian Epic. So in the last video, Rachi got wounded. Let's see how the story is going to change after this. So this looks like a dream sequence. Maybe she is in coma or something like that. Hi, where have you been? What's wrong? Wait, wait for me. The Trishul should be wielded by a god. Not a street performer. She is too mean. Who is she? A performer? A nothing. Who lost her brother? She will fail, and the world will fall. It should not be on her shoulders. She will fail. She lost Gulu once. How can she hope to protect him now? Didi, you lost me before. I don't know if you can save me. Please don't lose me again. There is no time. Didi, please, sister. I'm here. I need you, Raji. Please. I hope you can reach I me. I need you. Find me. If oh, maybe I... you aren't strong enough. Oh my maybe sister. Maybe you can't save me. I don't but think you will reach all of the time, Didi. Didi, please don't lose me again. I don't know if you can save. Didi. I'm oh, my sister. You lost me before, Didi. I think, I think you, you can will reach, reach me. me in time. Please don't lose me again. Yes, you try. This is the nice stage in the gameplay. And things like this are really interesting to play as. So basically what we have to do here is we have to move to the same platform The mystic chieftain warned her. Their enemy was Mahabalasura, the outcast, the most powerful mystic ever born. The scroll that he had stolen held a mantra to rip open the gates of the Dev Heavens. Raji was the only one with the power to stop him before he tore apart the world. So we are in a new area and this desert looks really nice. So basically Mahabalasura is trying to reach the heavens and maybe he will try to rule the heaven by defeating the gods. So this is where they sent me. This can only be the deserts of Thar. How will I find the gate? This place is said to be infinite. Yet she will find it. And she will face Mahabalasura. And she will overcome him. He is full of tricks, that one. I believe he has a deeper strategy. Raji must be careful. But she must also be swift.
Look at this. This looks screenshot worthy. This is really nice. There, in the far distance. That is the gate. I'm sure of it. I need not have worried. These mystics know what they're about. Indeed, there they lie. The gates to Dev Bhumi. So one of the things that I am really liking about this game is the change in different environment and every environment is created beautifully. This is so strange. I have walked here before. Have I not? What is this place? Why does it feel so familiar? One last blessing, my child, before you face your foe in battle. War is my domain, and you are now no stranger to it. But may my words strengthen your bones. May they armor your skin and grant might to your limbs. And know that I am proud, for your heart is already as strong as can be. So it looks like we are finally about to reach the final battleground. So I'm really curious how it's going to play out. You know, the story so far is, is really good. Even the music has changed in this particular level. So that is something that is consistent with the game. So we have received the Chakra. Chakra is the most powerful weapon that Lord Vishnu holds. Thank you, Lord Vishnu. She wields the chakra as one born to it. The chakra is bound to the heart of its wielder. If your heart is pure, it will act as an extension of your will. If your heart is corrupt, it will destroy you. It 
it looks like chakra is really powerful because every enemy is one hit kill i think that will be really good in the final battle So we are near the final battleground. Finally, Raji faced Mahabalasura, and he revealed the extent of his power. She must call upon everything that she had learned to defeat him. He looks intimidating but uh, I think Chakra is really powerful and I can see the health drop. It looks like the weapon is really overpowered. trying to attack from distance. Is he really this weak? Because it looks like he's about to run. Her enemy had copied himself. Mahabalasura was on every side. Raji could not see the truth. That this was just a diversion. Mahabalasura had escaped Raji and stood at the gates, reciting the mantra. But why? And then, another voice took up the chant. Golu. too late. Although Raji still fought, the gates to the Dev Heavens now stood open. 
Mahabalasura's design had come to pass, and Golu had been the key. Now what horror would be unleashed on the world? This looks really nice. I think this is the end of the game. So if you guys have been watching this series, thank you for your time and we'll see you in the next one.